Good morning. Oh, you're talking love. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, don't ignore. That's love. Hi guys, we're at Woods 110. We're on our way home and we're having sun flurries. Can you believe it? I'm so sick of snow. But my glasses keep fogging up. <laughs> this is cool. Not the snow. It looks like a face. Yo, see? The two eyes and all of them up. Now last year, we took a picture of, a, of this and put up on our Facebook that we found a cave close to work. Doesn't that look like a cave? Everybody's like, woo, woo. There you go. Pile of snow, you can keep melting. Drake, stand up beside it so they can see. That's how big it is. And those are all the pebbles that the oh, actually I'm stepping on them. My lovely construction boots. Whoops. See, there's some grass here. And it's green. Then we got this white stuff. Falling down. There was actually snow on the ground this morning. Just a dusting. I wasn't impressed. I don't think a lot of people were. <laughs> like I was in my lighter jacket last week. <sighs> That's beautiful. And now I'm back in this winter thing. I'm happy. Hubby always walks a lot ahead of me because I walk slow. Oh. I wish we were here in the snow. Yeah. We'll chat at you later. Look at this. You can't even see. Uh, Inside the tunnel. Is this not crazy? Look at it. It's like you're in and out of it. Holy mackerel. Look at it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Happy yeah, happy Hanukkah. No, I don't want that one. I'm looking for it. It's beautiful. guys, White Witch 110 here. This is the box. 
Okay. I painted all that as you can see, and then this part on the inside. Now, this, of course, I don't have it glued on there yet, but that will go in there once I glue it. Let's see? Look. Oh. There, now you can see better. Like so. And then this will go in there. Whoops. Like so. So when you, you'll see that, and then when you open it up, wow. Cool. I like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I like it. Um, and then this I cut in two. So now I'm not sure. I was thinking of putting part of it on here. And then putting the other part down here. But that's all up in the air now. I don't know if I, mean, I may still put it on the bottom. We'll have to see. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now I'm debating. Okay, I think I will. <laughs> you will what? There is oh, a woman that I watch from Australia. Of course. Oh, there they are. And I see her. She does a lot of that, um, the abstract art. And she has the that special stuff in the paint that when she puts heat to it, it, it all gets bubbly and stuff. That's my explanation. <laughs> I know I have bubble wrap. Where'd it go? So I wanted to try it. There it is. Yeah, so I wanted to try this and see what it is like. Hers turned out cool. I think she had the one she had had larger bubbles. But I will go with this what I have and we'll see how this goes I just got everything going tonight everything everything I've got a story I actually started this afternoon at work that I'm going to share. Okay. And let's see how this goes. Now she just went like this. Okay. Okay. Maybe she had more paint on it. Feeling for the ones that have paint in them. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Now, I love silver. Love. I love silver, but my wedding rings are gold. To me, they should be gold. Other than that, I love silver. Hmm. What else do we have over here? We do a mishmash at all. Why not? Uh, how do I do that one? Okay. And for good measure. Oh, I can't get it open. There we go. Just a little. 
Okay. Of course, her canvases are much bigger than this, but this is what I have. Uh, our dollar store closes at three, I think it is. So, <laughs> tonight, hubby and I, we're going to the bank to make a deposit. And we're passing by the grocery store and we see nobody in the lineup. Nobody's there. So it's like, oh, do we go? Okay, let's go get this done. Then we'll go do that. Or at least we thought we might. Then I said, nah, let's just go to Shoppers Drug Mart. We can get it there because it's closer to the bank. Well, they don't have what I want. So it's okay. Well, we'll go to the grocery store. Of course, as we're crossing the street, now there's a lineup, but it didn't, as always, it didn't take that long though to go in, to get in. So I was happy for that. Very happy. Hmm, it's looking interesting in here. See, she does that, so I'm just copying. I don't, of course, have that special stuff that they put in that you... I don't even have a hair dryer. But that you go like that and it bubbles. Hey. Ooh! What do you think? Oh, just a couple of corners I didn't get. Do I want to even attempt it? Okay, we're going in. Okay. Okay. I like that. Oh, yes, I do. That turned out good. I have my own bubbles. My just not the same as the bubbles she has, but... Well, now let's see if this cracks like the other ones that we have. But I like that. It always looks nice when it's shiny. Hey. Whoa. Okay. That's that one. I'd... Where'd it go? Uh, no, I think I'll... I only have one more small... Canvas. Oh, that one doesn't have any... Yeah. Okay, let's see. We'll put you there. Cat out of there. Okay. I like that. So, see these little spots? Mm -hmm. That's cool. A little spot over here. Okay. I think it's all covered now. That's cool. Okay, I'll get the cardboard. And we'll let that dry in the bathtub. Okay. So now with the box. I have decided to, yes, I will put this on the bottom part. I like it. It's pretty. So I'm just waiting for the glue gun to heat up. But, in the meantime, let's see. I'll tell you about a couple of Canadian programs. Uh, actually, I could show you that too. Hang on. Now, the program, called The Beachcombers, it was a comedy drama series on the CBC, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And it aired from October 1st, 1972 until December 12th, 1990. Whoa. And these are two of the main characters here. Nick Adonidas. And the other one is Relic. They achieved 19 seasons, 387 episodes. The series was about a log salvager, Nick Adonidas on the coast of British Columbia. Now the tug that was 
that he used. There it is right there. The tug used was called the Persephone, which is preserved in a museum in the town of Gibson, BC. Now his competitor relic, which you see, well, that's another character in later series. His competitor relic was a shady character. The characters were often found at Molly's Reach. I can right there. Molly's Reach. Run by Molly, of course. And there's the actress that played Molly. She was a mother figure to the group, except for Relic. The building used in the series is now an actual restaurant. It had been a secondhand store a general store, a hardware store, and a liquor store. The first episode explained the business between the partnership of Nick and Jesse. There's, there's Nick and Jesse. In 1988, the network dropped the, and it was just called Beachcombers. In 2002, a pilot called The New Beachcombers ran for two years. The series was filmed in Gibson, B.C. Molly's Cafe was used for exterior shots and storage. The Persephone was built in 1965 with the original name of John Henry. Now here are some photos of a kid's program that I grew up with in Toronto, watching in Toronto, it was called The Friendly Giant. It was a children's program that aired from September 30th, 1958 till March 1985. Actor Bob Holm played the giant who lived in a castle with his friends Rusty and Jerome. Rusty was a puppet rooster that lived in a book bag. That's him right there. Let's see. Yeah, you can see him. Jerome was a puppet giraffe. Only his head and neck was seen in the window. The program was viewed in the U.S. from 1953 until 1958. The show was 15 minutes long. The show always began with the castle drawbridge. There's the cast. There's, a, there's the drawbridge. Coming down, welcoming viewers in. Miniature furniture, which is this picture here, was placed in front of a fireplace telling viewers there was one chair for one of you and a larger one for two more to curl up in and a rocking chair for someone who likes to rock. He would read a story from the book produced by Rusty out of his bag and played music. It was a relaxing time for children. At the end of the program, the drawbridge would raise, and the giant waved his hand. In 1984, deep cuts from the federal government to the CBC budget caused the cancellation of the program. Costumes, props, and puppets were on display in the CBC Museum. Rusty and Jerome, however, were removed because permission from Holmes' family was not given. The wall used in the series is the only prop from the show left in the museum. Okay. Like I said, all over the place today. I'm thinking you put it right there. Ow. Yeah, we had snow today. Little flurries. I was not happy at all. Not at all. I should have. Hmm. I don't know how well those can bend, but we're going to find out. Yep, they bend. Where there is a will, there is a way. Yeah, I didn't believe hubby when he told me 
And then I looked outside at work and was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. It snowed last night, but just like a dusting, which I was very, very thankful for because we're all tired of it. Great White North or not, we don't want no more. It's time to see green. Like, we'd like to get out on the balcony and sit. But the weather's got to be better than this to do it. I'm just tacking it down every bit or so. That's the only thing with this. You get all these flyaways. Ooh. We need more glue. Got the glue. Okay. Hubby and Boo are in the living room. Sitting together on the sofa. Watching TV. There we go. Ow. I don't know what that was. This needs to have a longer cord. Because that's frustrating. Okay. So there it is around the bottom. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Now... Get over there. Let's see. Okay. Actually, oh, this is going to need a bit more work. I didn't think of that. Whoops. Hmm. I guess that's okay. okay. I think I'll leave it at that right now even though I'd like to finish it I think I'll leave it at that oh, so itchy so itching to finish it but no okay yeah I'll have to leave the haunted stuff for another time but I will give you the story for sure Hey, that's what it was. The glue stick. Come on. Like I said, I love my glue. Love the glue stick. Okay. Whoops. Get in there. This material is cool. Very cool. Okay. That's so soft. So, so soft. I know that's a lot overlay, but I want it a lot. So just in case I had other ideas, like maybe putting um, separation that I might be able to overlap with the same like compartments, that I might be able to overlap. But I'm not going to do that. There. 
now I'm like a bull in a china shop. Seriously. fits in there perfect. I like it. That looks pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay. More glue. More glue. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> no. Oops, I'm not so on the page. Okay, this. Whoops. <laughs> it's always an adventure. Hmm. Okay, I'll use you. Shakey shake. That's me. Hmm. There we go. Then I can use that little bit that's left over for my cards that I do. Now it's not easy getting this stuff into the box, as I'm finding out. I've never done a box like this before. I just hope I get this glue down in record time. Oops. You're saying this woman is insane. This is true. I'm crazy. Hey. No, no, no. Oops. Oops. Yeah, that's the only thing. Because my glue gun isn't that hot. It's not the hot, hot glue gun, which I didn't know when I bought it, but this is what happens. Okay, that's pretty good. There's the lid, and then you open it up, ta-da, it's cute, but I'm thinking I need to put something there, but I don't know what. Then I was thinking, putting maybe a flower on it, but I don't know. I think that might detract from it. Something more simple is better. But I still would like to put something in here on the inside. I have something in mind, but I don't have it. I would have to get it at the dollar store. Maybe a pretty butterfly on the inside. So when you open it, that's another little surprise. We'll see. So we'll call this almost done. Almost done. Further along than it was. That's so pretty. I like that. I really like that.
The sky was dark that morning as he set out for the woods. Clara bid him goodbye and pleaded him to be home soon. She didn't like being alone so far from town. They chose this cottage because of the land. He had wanted space for produce, so they weren't reliant on shops. He had bought a few head of cattle, but soon realized he couldn't slaughter them. Each cow had a personality. They would live out their lives grazing in their green pastures, just as the chickens and rabbits. Something or someone was compelling him to go into the woods. Harry couldn't explain it to Clara. He assured her of his love, promising to return within a week. She had never felt nervous once over the past two years, even though she didn't like being alone. Clara had spent time on her own before this, but this time it was different. Something was off, but she didn't know what. There was a nervous energy that consumed her while she was awake, and that same energy caused her restless sleep. Each morning, Clara sat at their small table by the window in hopes of seeing him emerge from the tree line to the side of their home. Each morning, an expectant tear fell from her cheek. There was a terrifying ache inside her chest, afraid she would never see him again. Clara reprimanded herself. Harry had gone into the woods before, and it hadn't bothered her. What was different this time? The morning Harry arrived, the next morning, Harry arrived, and the sky was dark with gathering storm clouds. His face was pale, and his words made no sense to Clara. Repeatedly, she requested him to slow down. She offered him a chair and a cup of coffee. He threw his backpack on their table, instructing her to wash what clothes were inside. Without a question, she did what he had requested. Coming back into the kitchen from a side laundry room, she noticed Harry staring out the window. Clara gently touched his shoulder. What's wrong, Harry? You're scaring me. Harry turned, their eyes met. You know I love you. Nothing good ever came when it started this way. Clara's mind raced with possibilities of his next words. And we'll leave it at that this evening. So I hope you all had an enjoyable, what is today, Wednesday. Ours was busy off and on. Um, yeah, that's it construction or demolition is still happening at work they're moving along nicely from what we're hearing and we're interested as everybody else to see what it's going to look like when it's finished but that'll be a few weeks yet obviously since i've just started but um as always thank you to my loyals for coming by Greatly appreciate it. Love you much. And for those of you just coming through, take a chance or take a chance. What chance? Take some time to look at my other videos. Anything you like, please thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share it out if you think someone else would like it. Consider subscribing. Click that notification bell so you'll know when I upload. And as always, until the next time, ciao for now.